Hey everybody, Craig from Yes I Have Some Podcast here. We are in my toy room and we are going to be taking today a closer look at my real Ghostbusters collection from Kenner Toys. It is my all-time favorite line of action figures. I love it. It's near and dear to my heart. My favorite as a kid, my favorite as an adult. I don't have the entire line. I'm about 95% of the way there. We'll get there soon enough. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the world. Hopefully, we'll be able to complete the collection soon, but I wanted to go ahead and take a closer look at some of my personal favorite action figures of all time. Let's talk about the line. Let's talk about everything we love. Let's do that right now. So here is the collection as it currently stands. I've got the entire thing in one of these really nice economy wall display cases that I was able to pick up from Stamps local uh, fixture place here in Atlanta, Georgia, stamp store fixtures. Uh, you should be able to get something similar in uh, your hometown. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. I'm gonna go ahead and slide open the glass here and we can get started. So first off, let's take a look at uh, the core figures in the line. So these are the first ones that were ever released. These are uh, Winston, Peter, Egon, and Ray. Uh, was able to pick these up fairly recently. These are going up in price. To get these loose and complete, you might be paying $30, $40, $50 a figure. Uh, but some of the greatest figures really ever released. Uh, each one with an individual colored proton stream. And then right here in the center, we've got Bad to the Bone Ghost, which really is one of my favorite ghosts in the line. Uh, had it as a kid, absolutely love it. And uh, no real Ghostbusters collection is uh, complete without that. Uh, figure. So down here, we've got the Super Fright Features figures. Uh, each one of these has a different Fright Features action. This Winston is probably my favorite in the entire line. It's got a little lever on the back there, and you can... Oh, there it is. Oh my god, how cool is that? So cool. Peter here, Egon, comes with this kind of octopus ghost. Ray, and then there was a Janine figure as well uh, in this line. Um, I really like this fish that she comes with. How cool is that translucent orange ghost fish? All right, then we've got our monster figures here. Are they based on the Universal Monsters? Eh, kind of, maybe not officially licensed, but we've got our like witch doctor zombie guy here. Uh, we've got werewolf. I never had the werewolf as a kid, so happy to have it now. Frankenstein, classic figure. Dracula with the cape, and then our mummy figure right there. And in the back, we've got our regular Fright Features, Winston, Peter, Egon. Now, a lot of people who collect real Ghostbusters know it's not always common to find Egon with the full tie. That tie is almost always broken, so happy to have the full tie. And then... Uh, Ray and Janine here. Uh, this is a pretty iconic figure. I think every kid had this Ray. For some reason, every kid had Ray and Peter. Uh, that is at least my understanding of how it went. All right, up here we've got our Screaming Heroes Ghostbusters line. Winston, Peter, Egon, Ray, and Janine with that purple skirt and the green glasses. Each one of those comes with kind of a hard plastic ghost that plugs into the back and you do the little mechanism and it spins. Uh, these are really cool. Again, iconic figures. I uh, had them all as a kid. Love that I was able to get them now. Let's look at the Haunted Humans, some of my absolute favorites in the entire line. X-Cop, Male Fraud, Tombstone Tackle. It's Tombstone Tackle. Don't lose your head. Granny Ghost, Hard Hat Terror. Look at that. That pickaxe alone costs you 20 bucks these days. Hard to find for sure. Uh, but these are really iconic. And you gotta have Tombstone Tackle if you're gonna be battling with the Ghostbusters, right? Down here, we've got our Power Pack heroes, each one with kind of a unique take on the Proton Pack. Uh, this Egon is probably my favorite. I absolutely love the purple and orange on black and his kind of helicopter pack there. Uh, Janine, another really cool figure. And then we've got their Lewis Tully figure, which again, really cool to see the Lewis Tully figures. There's only a couple in the line. But um, yeah, these are great. I love, these are some of my favorite. I love the patterns on the uh, flight suits there. And I like the uh, ghosts, uh, specifically this guy right here. It's like a little too, I don't wanna, I don't wanna knock anything over, but love it, absolutely love it. Uh, down here, we've got our Slimed Heroes figures. Now, 
These are very unique. Later in the line, this is probably around the time Ghostbusters 2 was coming out. Each one has a different mask, so it's cool. You see Winston there, uh, Peter, Egon with kind of like the two-faced cyborg mask. Uh, and then we've got Ray, and then we've got Lewis Tully right there. Um, what I love, here's a fun fact, the Ray, there's a variant. So this is a blue mask, and then he has a blue ghost. Let me grab it actually, right whoop. there, okay? But there's a variant, you see that red one, there's a red ghost and a red mask as well with the uh, slimed heroes ray. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the red one might be the more rare of, uh, of that slimed heroes line, okay? Cool, up here, let's take a look, we've got now, Egon and Winston, Ecto Glow figures complete with the glow in the dark masks. I love that their legs have their names printed on them. And then we've got cool variant repaints. That's a jail jaw repaint. And then you can see this guy's a repaint of the original ghost that was with, I believe, Ray down there. Um, the Ecto Glow figures are rare, uh, harder to come by, especially loose. I do not have. The entire line still missing uh, Peter and Ray and Lewis Tully. There was not a Janine figure, although there is a custom. Um, so we'll be getting that soon, I hope. We've got an open can of ectoplasm here. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, gotta have some ectoplasm and can open that. Can we? Take a look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Smell it. Can you smell it? Love that. All right, we've got our Bug Eye Ghost and our Gooper Slimer right there, part of the Gooper Ghost line. It's got that pack. You pour the slime in the back. You pour that ectoplasm in. Squeeze it all out. It comes right out of his mouth. We've got our Ghost Sweeper vehicle here. And then the Ecto-2 helicopter Again, a very iconic vehicle. I feel like every kid had that. We've got Trapper Ghosts. Had like 10, there's only an orange and a purple one, but I had a bunch of those as a kid. Then we've got our Ecto-3 vehicle right here. Kind of uh, like a go-kart or uh, a little dune buggy type of situation. And we've got the box for that actually hanging out right there. Okay. Uh, Terror Tongue. This is a really cool figure. Late in the line. Did not have this. Uh, picked it up recently. And uh, look at that dude. Love Terror Tongue. We've got Highway Haunter right here. The VW Bug that converts into the Mantis. We've got the Series 2 Slimer with the red Proton Pack. These are a little bit hard to come by. There is a variant. There's a red pack. And then there's a blue pack. These packs are different than what comes on the original Ghostbusters figures. And uh, yeah, again, not too easy to come by. You're gonna pay a few bucks for that. We've got Nasty Neck right here. Another really cool figure. And Sludge Bucket, part of the Gooper Ghost line. And then back there, you've got Pull Speed Ahead. Just really cool designs on all of these, very unique. Uh, it sounds cliche, but they don't make them like they used to, do they? Here we've got our H2 Ghost, Series 1 Ghost, in two parts. Oh, uh, what? Is it gonna... There we go. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Love that guy. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Down here, we've got Air Sickness and Wicked Wheelie. Fearsome Flush, Gooper Ghosts, just kind of an assortment of the different stuff that was coming out at the time. And then the Ecto Bomber, which was not something I had as a kid. These ones are not quite as common as some of the other vehicles. Love that guy hanging off there. All right. Did a whole video. Let's uh, scoot on over here. 
this, uh, there's a whole video on our channel. I did a video review. This is the Egon's Lab play set. Uh, this was an unreleased set that only came out in prototype form. There's only a couple of them that ever were out there. And uh, BAM Toy Company recently did 3D printed versions of the Egon's Lab play set. So I do recommend you check out that video review. Very, very cool. And then over here, uh, just we got the classic Ecto-1, the iconic vehicle, the gunner seat on top with the orange ghost. It's a box of real ghost, but cereal back there. And then maybe my absolute favorite toy in the line, the Series 1 Green Ghost, uh, better known as Slimer, with his various meats. And uh, yeah, that one's getting re-released by Hasbro for the upcoming Kenner Classics line. So uh, be on the lookout for that. We've got our Ghost Trap and Proton Pack. Uh-oh, looks like our PKE meter fell over. Uh, the PK meter did come with the pack, though. Got a very nice uh, example of the box there. Very clean. Love this. Had it as a kid. Have it now. That's my motto. And, of course, our Ghostbusters armband. I don't think that would fit around my arm these days. That's okay. And then we've got our Ecto-500. Uh, really kind of a unique vehicle. Comes with this guy. And that's one thing I love about this line. All the vehicles came with their own ghosts. All the busters came with their own ghosts. All right, coming down to the bottom here, we've got our Banshee Bomber, which is kind of this big flying like dragon type ghost. Uh, yeah, uh, hard plastic, pretty durable. Uh, again, something that might set you back a few bucks these days. We've got the Kenner Firehouse here. One of the most iconic play sets of all time with the two containment units on the inside and the doors do open and you've got that iconic i'm gonna keep saying it but it is iconic the uh, sign there uh definitely one of my favorite all-time play sets up here i've got a small assortment uh, there's about 30 or 40 of these that you can get these were the small mini ghosts that came inside the cans of ectoplasm so I only got about five of those. Um, big Stay Puff there. That's not part of this line. That's a Diamond Select Stay Puff, but it's okay. We've got the Ecto-1A, which uh, is kind of modeled after Ghostbusters 2. And it is just a re-release of the Ecto-1 with different stickers, but it's very, very cool. They did a really good job of kind of not making you feel bad if you have to buy the same vehicle twice because it's got all the slime stickers, it's got real Ghostbusters right there, it's got the we're back light panels, and all sorts of stuff. The very top, just kind of an assortment of packaging. I mean, that is a ghost zapper. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, but that is complete in there. We've got the ghost popper and some packaging examples Highway Haunter, Wicked Wheelie. The Ecto-1A might be my favorite packaging of the entire line. I would get that tattooed on me. Well, that about does it. That was a quick look at the Real Ghostbusters collection. More to come. And uh, I'm just going to play with this PK meter all night. My favorite thing ever. I'm going to keep it on me. And I'm going to go solve the world's problems with it. All right. Bye, everybody. Check out Yes Have Some Podcasts wherever you get your podcasts. And we will see you next time. Bye.